Hello everyone, uh, this is Kirby, coming to you from our um, lovely square here in the city of Franklin, Kentucky, Simpson County. As you see behind me, uh, got the courthouse, might hear the traffic, I hope that's not too much of a distraction for you. Um, the main reason um, I'm doing this video is kind of because it's, it's on my mind right now of who we are as a country and who we are as individuals and how we need to know um, you know our way of life um, our ability to love others our ability to uh, know who we are and who we can be how we can change and how we can be better people uh, in this community and the world around us. Um, I'm down here on the square across from Brad's Barber Shop. Uh, it's over here on, um, on, I think it's Kentucky Street, <laughs> uh, across from the uh, horse and the little uh, pavilion at the edge of the courthouse. But I started thinking about how God knows us so well. You know, there's over eight billion people um, on this earth there's over 8 billion people on the earth and God knows each and every one of us he knows us so well even when we don't know ourselves and he knows when we're doing right he knows when we're doing wrong he knows how we're feeling he knows he knows when we're not feeling good he knows when we're feeling uh, and then he knows when we're feeling great um, but he also knows our loves, our passions, our commitments, and what we stand for. And I hope all of us start learning that we need to stand for God um, more and more in our lifetime. And we need to do better. And um, I'm sorry, I, I know this video is kind of sketchy tonight, but uh, I just wanted to be personal with you tonight and just to share with... Um, you some thoughts as I said there there's over 8 billion people in the world but God knows each and every one of us and he knows us so well it even says in the Bible that he knows the hairs on our head um, let me read you this scripture it's from Matthew chapter 10 verses 26 through 31 this is the NIV version it says so do not be afraid of them for there is nothing concealed that will be disclosed or hidden that will be not made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Well, did you know, like I said, Brooks is down here at the barbershop right across the street. Did you know that the how many hairs are on your head? You know, why don't you go to the bathroom right now and try to count them? I know how many hairs are on my head. I'm, I'm kind of losing my hair. And... Uh, that, you know, it doesn't count for bald people, but anyway, blondes, I did some little research, blondes have about 150,000 hairs on their head. Redheads have about 90,000 hairs on their head. And if your hair is black or brown, you have about 110,000 hairs on your head. So let's just take an average and say the average person has about 100,000 hairs on their head. Now, multiply that by 8 billion that means God knows 8 quadrillion hairs that God knows in this world if he knows every hair on your on everyone's body 8 billion times 100,000 is 8 quadrillion that's a lot and then it says he knows the animals he knows their hairs on their on their body he knows all the stars. He can name all those. 
In Psalms 147, verse 4, it says, He determines the stars and calls them by name. He knows us so well. But I guess we need to realize and try to figure out how well do we know Him. Are we doing the things... Let the truck go by. Are we doing the things we need to do to know Him? Are we in His Word? Are we in prayer? Are we talking to Him daily? If He knows us so well, why shouldn't we know Him so well? We should know Him and His Son, Jesus Christ, immensely and understand what they mean to us and what we mean to them. Just wanted to finish out, just during this time, as I look um, behind me, I'm wearing an American flag on my shirt. I wear, have an American flag uh, design on my hat. Let us come to realize who we are as individuals. And I hope as individuals we are Christians. We are Christians that love God. We are Christians that love Jesus Christ. We are Christians that love everyone around us and treat everyone the same, respect everyone the same, and show compassion to others around us no matter what. No matter the color of our skin, no matter our um, ethnicity, no matter our sexuality, no matter our religion, no matter if we're wealthy or poor, we should treat everyone the same. Yes, I know some of those things I mentioned, there, there's sin there, but it still doesn't mean we love them. We, we should love the sinner and hate the sin. That's the only way we can change people around us. That's the only way we can bring others to Christ is if we love them unconditionally and love them as a true Christian would. So I hope you do that because God knows you so well. I hope you know yourself. And if you don't, I hope you research yourself. Dig deep inside to try to figure out who you are. Dig deep inside to come to an understanding of who you need to be. Dig deep inside to understand that you need to live for God and Jesus Christ and not for yourself. That's the main thing. We need to live for God, live for God and Jesus Christ and not ourselves. Because if we live for ourselves, we're not going to inherit what He has promised us. If you don't know who you are, research yourself. Love yourself, but you also have to love God and Jesus Christ first. I hope that helps you out just a little bit tonight. God knows the hairs on your head, whether you got a lot or a few. He knows you best. Let Him get to know you more by you turning to Him and giving Him everything. May God bless you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope this video uh, finds you well and that uh, wasn't too much of a distraction, but wanted to bring you this uh, as I was sitting here while Brooks is getting some of his hair cut um, and just had that little thought. Thank you again. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday mornings at 1030 if you can join us for in-person worship at church. If not, please join us. Continue to join us with Facebook, YouTube, and all the other things that we share on our Facebook page. Have a great rest of the evening. May God bless you and good night.